on guys? So uh, we're kind of slow here Shaka. So we're gonna go on a surf trip today. I'm not gonna tell you where, but uh, I like to call it Baby Trestles. It's a little tiny break. It's fun for longboards. We're bringing everybody, Megan, Sierra, our guest, and we're gonna go check it out. And you guys get to come along with us. And we're gonna show you what it's like to have a surf trip with surf coaches. So let's go. Going surfing. What's that? What do you have to say for yourself? We're going on a surf trip. It's a shaka field trip. Or did. Or take test. Okay. Driver here. Driving. Three of you in the back. That's how we roll. Basically, it's the entire shaka crew and uh, one guest. <laughs> Explain why this is an, an, a vital stop before we go to our surf, surf this trip. This is an important stop because we're going out in the middle of nowhere and we need refreshment. Some filthy cooler, some water, and some beer. Corona is actually considered a gluten-free beer. Party! <laughs> so I am the responsible driver, so this will be my drink for the day. So while we're waiting in line, tell us what you do in Canada. What do you do? What's your occupation? Iron worker out there. I work out in Alberta, close to Fort Macquarie region. Okay. And what made you decide that you wanted to come down to Costa Rica and learn to surf? Get away, learn the lifestyle, just hang out. But why surf? Make a new family. But why surf? Because it's awesome. I'm the responsible driver. I won't be drinking any alcohol today. I actually haven't had any alcohol in almost four years. And one of the strange things that happens when you quit drinking beer is you have to eat lots of chocolate and drink lots of soda, so I have to keep the supply going. It's not to sleep. Like a <laughs> Nothing like the sight of blue ocean water. How uh, hi, is everybody doing? Oh, yeah, you got it, we have arrived. Little surf report. This is for beginner surfers, it's very small. We're going to catch some of those little tiny waves on a longboard over there. Now give your words of wisdom. So we have to rock, walk out on rocks. And it's, it's Sweet Feet's uh, first time walking on rocks here. You kind of use your board to stabilize yourself. You watch you step, it's like loose rocks. And actually that's a great shot of somebody doing it right now. Actually it really is.
Hey! <laughs> All right. So what do you think of not being able to put your feet on the ground and rock surfing and having to only paddle? It, it, the best rocking. is when you fell, when you fall right on your tailbone. Your... That's that's just right deadly. Oh. Right on the rocks. Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you, 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 yeah. You take the goat out of the horse pen. So and the horse is upset. The thoroughbred's upset, and so then he messes up the race, and so that's and what then you all What? When you ask me you sure whether, hey, did you know? Do you want to know where that saying came from? And I said no. Now you know. Well, no, I said no, I don't.